This was like forty dollar ice cream to you. I don't know what that was. Hi, um, today's video is going to be a Walmart grocery haul if you're new here because we've had a couple of new, not a couple, um, a handful or so of new subscribers here. My name is Tony, which you probably know, but we are a family of six, husband, wife with four kids. We have a 17 year old son, a 12 year old daughter, an 11 year old daughter, and an eight year old and an um, son. So, we are a family of six. Our kids are older-ish. Like, we got an eight-year-old. But he'll be nine in July. You probably don't care. But, so we don't have little babies anymore, but we're still a family of six. And if anything, we go through more food now. So, it's just a Walmart haul. Just a typical haul. Um, I didn't really plan meals this week. We're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. And we also have a couple of meals from last week that we haven't done. So, we didn't really need much, but then we did. We spent a lot of money, and we also had to buy a four-wheeler battery that's not here. And then, them little bitty suckers cost $85, but we're going to jump in here. I also have a tiny Dollar General haul. It's pretty small, but I figured, you know what, we'd share it anyways because we did go there today. So, we're just going to jump in here and show you everything we got. All right, so since it's here closest to us, we will start here. This is our Dollar General haul. The reason I went to Dollar General is because I wanted one of these chairs that um, they like lay down. You know what I'm saying? I've had one. I had one for years, a green one, and then it just disappeared, but it didn't. John said it was getting in bad shape, so we threw it away. I just thought it just disappeared. So I did stop and grab me one of those. I like to sit on this and just relax and read books it's just one of my favorite things to do in the summer so grabbed me another one of those and yeah if i try to just lay on a blanket in the on the ground one it's more uncomfortable and two i always have dogs that come and try to lay with me in the summertime that's not fun so pick me up another one of those this is jonathan's favorite soda and i decided just to go ahead and pick up another one so we grabbed that and i can only find these at dollar general i don't know why but our walmart doesn't sell the 12 packs so, so grabbed that for him we needed paper towels so i grabbed some sparkle paper ta paper towels i'm getting ahead of myself and our favorite toilet paper the scott um our walmart doesn't sell this anymore not since the the you know so we grabbed it there and then i needed some cotton balls for like washing my face and stuff like that so i grabbed those and saw this St. Ives Glowing Oil-Free Face Moisturizer. And it's made with real watermelon. And it smells really good. Um, Fallon from Moss Family TV posted about one that was watermelon scented that was clean and clear, I think. But I forgot to check for this at Walmart. I really was going to get the clean and clear one. I wouldn't even got this stuff at all at Dollar General. Wendy reminded me that they needed some face wash. They're getting to the point in their life now where they're going to have to start washing their face. So, yeah. So I did get the girls some, I think I just got them, I did just get them some of the sensitive astringent pads. Just it's one step thing while they learn about washing their face. And then they also, Wendy also picked out um, a face mask for them, like marble peeling face mask. Her and Lily both got one. So they got that. And then I picked up another thing of this Circulose sweetener because I forgot to pick some up at Walmart. And these little packets are just convenient. So. And one of these lasts me a very long time. I use one, maybe two a day. So, I still didn't need this, but I went ahead and grabbed it since I was at the Dollar General and thought about it. 
And then we picked up some sweetened condensed milk for something I'm pretty excited about, but we'll get there when we get there. So picked up that as well. All right, and now we're gonna just jump straight into Walmart because I need to get this ice cream put up because it's getting melty. So Wendy's seen this and wanted to try it. It is Baskin Robbins cotton candy. We'd never saw this before. So she picked up that, just a thing of vanilla because this is a staple here especially in the summer and it's, it's not summer yet, but it's supposed to be really warm this week, like upper eighties. So super excited about that. So we needed some fun things, um, cookies and cream, ice cream, the mochi. This is the strawberry flavor. This is Lily's favorite and our Walmart hadn't been having strawberry and they got this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they upped their ice cream game because they started selling this Baskin Robbins. They also had some the Funfetti ice cream that we've been looking for, but once we found it, Wendy didn't, she didn't want it today. So we didn't get that, but Lily got these and then I got these. They are just, they're keto. I'm not keto. I'm not, I'm, I hope to never put a label on my lifestyle again because labels just mess me up. But I have been watching my sugars. I'll say that. Um, and I feel so much better the last couple days. Maybe I'll cover more of that in a video if you're interested or if I just decide to do it, to be honest, but um, yeah, I saw these and I figured we'd give them a try. They're chocolate cheesecake so that I can sometimes have a treat too that doesn't, you know, it's not loaded with sugar. Then I also got myself some sugar-free pudding. I saw, I think this is the same one I saw on my friend's video this morning, Our Small Town Life. Tiffany posted about them and I was like, I could do that. Sugar-free pudding? I'm going to do that. So I grabbed that for myself. My kids, especially Wendy, has really been enjoying puddings lately. So we grabbed this big 12 pack of it's got six milk chocolate and six of the swirl the chocolate and milk chocolate does that make sense you can see it um so grabbed those for the kiddos and then these these can be mine so and then these don't go here but we're going to cover it anyways some garlic sticks and a thing of mozzarella sticks so and then we got some pancake mix. I used the last of this Saturday, so I always like to keep this on hand. Plus, we ended up getting a fun little thing that made Lily want pancakes. I will show you when we get over there. Um, but so I picked up a thing of pancake mix, and then I saw these keto toaster waffles. Again, I am not keto. I, I'm not low carb. I'm just I'm trying to live my best healthy life. So, um, yeah. I picked up these. They was on rollback for less than $4. So I went ahead and just picked up a pack of those. Just as a quick little snack, treat, dessert. I don't know, but I picked them up anyways. And then for creamer this week, we just got a caramel macchiato and a peppermint mocha, which um, Wendy went over and got the creamer and she said, I thought that was a Christmas thing. So I don't know, but we found it. So she got it because that's one of her favorites. And she's been doing French vanilla a lot lately. And I guess she wanted to change it up. And then we needed pancake syrup because we're almost out. The sugar-free syrup is mine. And then just original for the rest of the family. We prefer this over actual real maple syrup. We don't care for maple syrup. And then we needed some heavy whipping cream. We got just a Walmart one. And then this one is supposed to be better for you. But it's like double price of this. So I just picked up a little one of those. And a big one of those go ahead and get these over with this is just the family's the family's favorite fruit snacks the juicy burst we pick up these pretty much every week so grab those and then just some frozen chicken breast this is a staple around here we always buy that if you watch these videos this is one we've never seen before it's a lightly breaded chicken breast strips so they look good lily's not really been enjoying chicken lately chicken chicken i don't know what the child eats to be honest even though i feed her so um now yeah, we're gonna give these a try we got some smoked ham staple here as well just a piece this is a flat iron steak it was on sale for five dollars so i grabbed that for john i don't like buying steak at walmart i prefer kroger but you know he needed one so he just got one this week and then this is the beef shaved steak the one i got of this at kroger whenever i got it last time it was really good and so I've been craving that. We wasn't at Kroger, so I decided just to give Walmart to try. I mean, it's meat. Who knows? And then we needed, I forgot my sausage. Darn it. 
Then Wendy asked for bacon the other day and we didn't have none, so I picked up a thing of bacon, a thing of the world famous a barbecue. This is pulled pork seasoning. So I thought we would give this a try as well. Let's see how, how it goes. So we got that. I had never saw this before, but it is Victoria slow cooked tomato basil sauce. And it is, the macros and stuff on it are very similar to, what's the word I'm looking for? The Rio's Rao sauce and the ingredients. It is really clean. So decided to give that a try. That's just seasoning. And then they also had a ton of these new G. Hughes sugar-free sauces. I love the G. Hughes sauce. It's like my, some of my favorite stuff, um, whether I care about what I'm eating or not. So this is wing sauce. I don't eat wings. I'll do something with it. But this is sweet honey flavored. So I thought it would be really good. They had a bunch of other ones too, but this one is just the one that really spoke to me, I guess. And then just some normal sugar-free barbecue sauce because I was all out of the sugar-free. Just a pack of Philadelphia cream cheese, two good vanilla yogurts, and a 18 count of eggs. So the deal with these, I know not healthy, but it's not got sugar in it, so I, at least I'm winning there, is I'm going to try to make a a recipe, if you want to call it that, that I found and sent to my friend Frances that she said was so good, so I've been wanting to try it, but I'm not, I'm trying to stay pretty far away from sugars, so, I mean, I'm not, okay, I'm not, I'm just trying to not eat a lot, I don't know how to explain it, it is what it is. Um, so I thought I could mix this yogurt with a little bit of this and we'd give it a try. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll probably try that later. So I got a chocolate one of these and just a birthday cake flavor. Now, when I was keto, if you want to call it that, but when I was keto last time, I tried one of these and it's pretty good. Like, it's not like the most amazing thing ever, but it's pretty good. So I'm hoping if I mix the two it'll be okay so and then we got some this is just six sticks of mild cheddar cheese now I didn't look when they rung it up but the sign said that this was 60 cents that seems like a crazy good deal I don't know like I said I don't know if it was or not because I didn't check my receipt I'll check it and let you know so 60 cents and I figured why not it's organic not that I usually care about that stuff but you know so we got that a thing of butter that we didn't need but it is what it is i'll just stick this in the freezer no big deal um some mini peppers because these are one of my favorite things ever cucumbers these are my favorite cucumbers but if i buy the ones the minis they seem like they go bad really fast like they'll get mold on them or they just get soggy and gross so i figured they seem like they keep better so I bought two of these. All I'll do is I'll cut off what I want to eat and then just wrap up the rest and it's good to go. So I grabbed two of those, two avocado, some coleslaw mix, and a Caesar salad mix. I needed some new peanut butter, so it is so hard to find peanut butter without added sugar. So, but I do like this one. I used to eat this one all the time, so I grabbed one of those. And then we got some Slim Jims. These are just a nice little snack to have, especially for Nolan. Nolan really likes these. And Nolan's our eight-year-old, if you don't know that. And he is, he's the eater of the bunch. So I like to, I'll feed him, you know, a meal or whatever. And then if it seems like he's just, is constantly staying hungry, I like to give him a protein source. So I'll give him like a couple of boiled eggs with this or some cheese cubes. And it just, it seems like it helps. So it works for us. So yeah. And then we got some spicy nacho Doritos, some just barbecue chips. Lily asked for Takis again, and we've not bought them in a little while, I don't think. I don't even know. So she got those. And then this is something new that I had never saw before. It is Slim Jim Pork Runs, and it is Hog Wild Barbecue. So I'm hoping they're not too hot, but just barbecue pork rinds sounded good to me. I don't know, so... I ended up grabbing those um, and then I think the last thing on the table is just some honey buns this is John's work snack 
work, breakfast, whatever. And then this is Nolan and Jonathan's favorite. They tore up the box of these that I bought last time. So I grabbed another one of those. All right, and at Walmart, the only soda I grabbed was a thing of cola. We didn't need any other kind, so just grabbed this. We didn't need this just yet. Lily will only drink cola, and we usually let our kids have one a day. So I knew that we'd be out before the end of the week, so I went ahead and grabbed another thing of that for her. Um, coffee, of course, because it's at least every other week thing. We've only got a few more pods, so I had to grab that. This is what I'm so excited about. I've wanted one of these for years. We had one when Jonathan was a baby, but not since we've had four kids. So, Fallon from Moss Family TV always makes homemade ice cream, and I always say I'm going to buy one. I decided to buy one this week. I talked myself out of it last night. I was like, you don't need that. It's just something to sit around. But, I walked by it at Walmart, and I just grabbed it and put it in the cart. So, here it is, and now I'm super excited about it. Um, we'll probably play around with this later so we did get that and then for that we got some ice cream maker rock salt pretty excited and then um we saw these they are star wars if you're not new around here you already know this but if you are new around here lily is obsessed with baby yoda it's like her favorite thing ever and wendy likes mando so these are perfect this is for eggs and pancakes my girls don't like eggs so, when do you eat them sometimes? Scrambled, I think. No, not scrambled. No? You don't even like them scrambled anymore? No. Okay, so the girls won't eat eggs. But, this is for pancakes too. So, I thought we'd try it. It's little silicone breakfast molds. And you can make pancakes. So, we'll probably do that tomorrow. So, I got that. John needed some more of this fleece. He lines his Indian artifact cases with this. So, needed to get that for him. I got these for my purse. I like to have either bubble gum or mints at all times in my purse. So I grabbed those. Um, we needed some baby wipes to keep in the truck. Because if John, like like the other day, we went to the gas station and he poured diesel on his hands. He likes to be able to wipe it off. So we keep baby wipes in the vehicles because we don't have a baby. So we have to make an intent to buy them. Yes, dear? Okay. And then for vitamins... I mean, then we picked up some vitamins. I needed some more magnesium, some melatonin, because John has the worst time ever sleeping. Nolan needed some more vitamins, and then this L-carnitine for myself. So, that is what we got. You look cute, right? So, I decided that... At the end of this video here, we're just going to go ahead and make some ice cream. We're going to try this out for the first time. Because I wanted to record it the first time we made it. And we're not vlogging today. So, me and the girls. Are you going to help mm -hmm. set it up? Me and the girls are going to get the ice cream going. And then, I guess just me and Wendy are going to go get our outdoor workout in. And then it should be done. So, we're going to go ahead and just share this whole thing with you all. So, you ready? Alright, we got to get it out of the package. Vanilla. Just making vanilla today. I don't know how. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it told me how to make vanilla ice cream. Yeah, it says recipes. Go ahead and hold I'm oh, sorry, Sissy. Just painted your nails. So, this is what it looks like. I don't know if it's really showing up. It looks like a bucket. It looks like a bucket. It's, it's cute. It says old fashioned ice cream maker. And then, I don't know. We don't know what this is. We'll figure that out. This is the middle piece bowl, canister, the motor. Yeah, you definitely need that probably. And then, this is a little woo woo that goes and in. This it. As you can tell, we don't know what we're doing. And this week. And then that week. So, we're just making vanilla ice cream. So, we're just going to do it like, I found a recipe. I was going to go back and try to find how Fallon does it from Moss Family TV. I'm not, I don't got time for that. And so, we're going to just find one, use one that I found on Pinterest. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so, we need milk, sugar, heavy cream, salt, and vanilla. And that's it. We're just going basic. 
might start being more experimental after this. But today we're just going basic. Lily, go give me the sugar, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Well, when you go get it. Fallon always says if it tastes good in here, it's going to taste good when it comes out. So that's what we're going to go for. Like a bird okay. on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free It's like melted vanilla ice cream. I'm not going to try it. Mm -hmm. I have a good one. Oh. Mint gum. It just tastes like vanilla. Think it's sweet enough? Yeah. It's good. Now, how do I do the salt? I think you put it on that outside. I know. I do know that. What's the ice? I just don't know how much in the refrigerator. There's like oh. sherbet recipes. Need it. A half of a cup. Up. Uh, now just go. Alright, I caught it with my leg. Wow, it's so pretty. I'll go ahead and pour it in there. On the side? Yeah. Is that cute? Yeah, just pour it in. Kind of pour it on top and it'll just go. Yeah, it's got to be like covered. No! Just okay. you can go ahead and do the big ones. I think it'll be all right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hold on. You have a spray. Let's see. Yeah. Around you, from a distance you can tell. with it. Is that what's supposed to happen? see a table full of groceries i put up the cold stuff okay calm down mind your own business i put them up but i had other priorities at the moment that i wanted to take care of all right so it's been going 27 minutes now probably closer to 30 because that's just how long i've been walking and this is what it looks like try it It's kind of like store balls. That's it's good, isn't it? It tastes less like ice. It's good. All right, so we went out and finished our walk, and I kind of forgot about that thing, but we're going to check it out. <laughs> I it up on my nice little tripod with this toilet paper. <laughs> it looks like soft serve now, don't it? It does. I got that one froggy place. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, sweet frog? Yeah. 
This was like forty dollar ice cream to you. Yeah, it does. That's, that's exactly what it looks like. Also, I like orange leaf and stuff, so it's just soft. So. Oh my goodness. So good. Here, you gonna try it? Lily! I mean, it still tastes the same. No, it tastes better. But it's really soft. I don't know what that was. Forever free. You and me. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's really good. So we might just stick with this for our base recipe. You are making a mess. Oh my gosh, I didn't that. It's all right. Tastes like Walmart. I've never leaked Walmart. No, do you ask me? Huh? What do you think it tastes like? It tastes like McDonald's vanilla. That's like a compliment. A compliment, all right? Because McDonald's has like the best <clears throat> soft serve when their machines yeah. are working. Mm-hmm. Mommy cooking the egg. Hey! Ah. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Did you smell it? Is it vanilla? Yeah, I just made it simple. It's good at it for sure. Yeah, Lily said it tastes like McDonald's. It's real good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, guys so that is our grocery haul for the week i don't know maybe it was typical it just seemed like stuff was missing though so i know we didn't get no bread or bagels that's because we still had bread and bagels from last week somehow i don't know maybe we're just not eating as much of the normal stuff but that is gonna be it for this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed until next time bye guys